at this dreamlike location in Vancouver. I'm gonna show you the difference between master shots and quick shots. Master shots can be a way to capture the most stunning place in a fast manner when you don't have time and you just would like to automate everything. And now we're gonna tap here and then we're gonna go into master shots. But to be able to do that, we need to get the drone into the air. If not, we're gonna get an error message. So with the drone here, now we can tap master shots. First, we're gonna tap me, that is the object that we're gonna track and do the master shots around. After that, we get an estimated flight time of two minutes. And we also get down to the left here, we get the map and we're gonna get the pattern that the drone is gonna fly when it performs the master shots. We can also tap here. And then we're gonna enter the menu where we can set the settings for the master shot. So here we're gonna set the width of the shot. Let's set that to medium. And then we can see that it's expanding on the map as well. The length of the shot, I'm gonna have that on medium too. The height, I would like to have, okay, we have lots of space here, so we can have a large height. And here at the bottom where it says start point, you can tap that one and switch from current location or auto. In auto, it's gonna automatically adjust master shot start point. I usually take just current location. And then we just tap start. And we're gonna see what the drone is gonna do after it's counted down from three to zero. And now the drone is performing the start of the master shot. And we can also see on remote what it's gonna do. Now it's gonna do a zoom in and zoom out. Now the drone has adjusted the position to a location spot. Instead, it didn't track me anymore. It tracks the location instead because we got the location tracker. And it's now doing the circle medium. And this is a really good feature to use whenever you're gonna just capture something and you don't really know how to fly or what you're gonna do. Then you just start the master shot and the drone is gonna do this automatically. And then after that, when you're gonna edit everything, then you can just go in and post and grab whatever shot you would like to have. And I'm gonna promise you that you're gonna be able to put something together that looks just astonishing. So now it's doing a circle far away. Then we can see that it's now gonna pitch up and fly forward. This is a very classic uh, drone shot that you have and you can see it in almost all movies and all documentaries and everything. And then we're gonna do a rocket. You just fly straight up as a rocket. And now it's gonna do a camera down plus circle and then it's gonna do camera straight and descend camera down and descend so you can see that it's just altering between all these different shots now we're just gonna make sure it's not crashing into the, the roof i have here and now the drone is flying back to the start position again And now we can compare to quick shots instead. And here up to the right, we're gonna set what kind of shot we would like to have, if it's a drony, rocket, circle, helix, and boomerang. As you recognize from the master shot, we had a drone there also, but here we can do just a drone and do it more precise. So we can just set the distance we would like to have. We would like to have it to fly to 50 meters, and then we just hit start. And it counts down from three to zero, and the drone is gonna just do its droney, all until it's 50 meters away from the point where it started. So we can also see here that the distance is increasing 20 meters away, 30 meters away, 40 meters away, and 50 meters away. The drone will automatically get back to the home point, which is super handy. And now we can switch from droney, we can do the rocket instead. The rocket is what we saw before us, it's just gonna shoot straight up. We're gonna tap the object we're gonna track. We're gonna set that, we would like to have it to the altitude of 
well, 80 meters is the top, so we select start. And it will start its rocket. And you can see how useful this is going to be when you are somewhere and you just would like to do a quick capture of what you have around you and you are maybe not too sure about how to move the sticks and controls to be able to capture those perfect shots. So then you can just use either the master shot if you just would like to capture everything at once or you can just go in here and do the quick shots. And we can also see that it's counting that it's now up to 99% of the uh, quick shot and now it's returning and it's going to come back to where it started again. And you can see how clear the water is. And now let's try the next one. Let's go to the menu again. Let's take the circle instead. And we're going to tap outside, we're going to do a circle around me, we can select what side we would like to do the circle. To be aware of is that we don't have any obstacle avoidance here again, which can be a little bit troublesome because we have some trees here, as you can see from the drone perspective. We're also going to have our finger on top of the pause button, just so we can stop it and pause it if we see that it flies into somewhere where it shouldn't fly. We're going to have the elevation a little bit higher because we are not setting the elevation in the circle. We only set the direction it's going to fly. And then I just tap start. If you would like to have a bigger circle, well, then you just back off further away before you start doing this movement. You can tap me again and we can do a circle from this location instead. Start. So that is how you set the distance to the object you would like to do the circle around. Now I'm just going to make sure it's not flying into any trees. It works fine. Now it's tracking the location again. Let's tap the menu again. We can do the helix. Then the drone will fly in a spiral around us. We're going to start further in. I'm going to tap me. I would like to have the radius to be a little bit smaller, maybe be 30 meters. And then we're gonna tap start. So here we can see the distance starts at four meters away from us. Now it's up to five, up to eight. Gonna be a bigger and bigger circle. So now the drone is coming back again after making one turn with a spiral where it goes further and further out from the center position. So you're not going to do it multiple laps, it's just going to do one lap. Now you may be wondering what's going to happen if we start further away. So if we're now going to set the radius to be smaller, like 10 meters, and we are currently 13 meters away, let's see what's going to happen. Start. It's still increasing the distance, but it's only increasing the distance with 10 meters from 13 to 23. So what if we now start even further away? Like here, we're gonna drag a box around us. Again, we're gonna do the maximum radius to 10 meters and we tap start and we're now 22 meters away. I'm gonna pause there because we're flying into some trees. But we can see that the drone will continuously increase the distance from us even if we have set the uh, radius to be smaller than the starting distance from where we are. So we just need to keep that in mind so we don't do anything stupid. It's always better to start closer to you and then set a distance to where it's going to go out to what radius we like to have at the end. If we instead tap the uh, boomerang, we're going to tap us again, set me and direction and start. So you can see that the drone started close, then at the back side it was further away, and then it's coming back again at the end like a boomerang. After that we're going to try the asteroid. This one is pretty cool actually. I'm going to select me, we're just going to tap start. And now we're going to see what's going to happen. And now I'm also trying to adjust the gimbal pitch here just to see if that works, but it doesn't. So everything is automated when it goes in those quick shots modes. Now we are to 95% done. And now the drone is returning to the home point again.
with this little quick demo, I hope you're a lot more confident in both the master shots and the quick shots and you're gonna create amazing videos with a drone whenever you get out next. So the next thing we're gonna do that is to see each other in that video because I would love to see you in more videos. See you in that fun. Bye.